Hi, I'm so excited to be here today. I'm going to read you a story called Hedgy Surprise by Jan Brett. Once there was a speckled hen who laid an egg every day, only to have it taken by a little Tompton every morning. It all started because the Tompton got tired of porridge for breakfast. Each morning the rooster crowed as the sun came up and Henny knew the Tompton was on his way. So did the little hedgehog who lived nearby. The Tompton always called out to her, Henny, have you got a little yummy for my hungry, hungry tummy? The Tompton climbed into the hen house, took Henny's warm, smooth egg, and ran off to cook it in his little kettle, sprinkle it with salt, and gobble it down. Then he fell fast asleep in the hayloft until evening. Henny didn't like the Tompton taking her eggs, but she put up with it until one morning when she saw Goosey Goosey sail forth smiling and bowing with a stream of piping goslings following her. Oh my, Henny clucked, where did all those little ones come from? My eggs are hatching, crooned Goosey Goosey. Here comes the last one now. From that moment on, Henny wanted a brood of peeping chicks of her own, but how could she stop the Tompton from taking her eggs? The next morning when the Tompton poked his head in, Henny tried. She clucked loudly and pecked. She flew at him, but nothing stopped that hungry Tompton from taking her egg again. No eggs, no chicks, no peeping babies. Henny wailed so loudly that she woke up the little hedgehog, her tears pouring down on top of him. Puff a puff a stick stick, Hedgy went as he crawled out to talk to her. Poor Henny, I've been watching the Tompton take your eggs. I'll help you trick him into stopping. The next morning when the rooster crowed, there was the Tompton. Henny, have you got a little yummy for my nearly empty tummy? Henny and Hedgy were ready. The Tompton reached for an egg and pulled out an acorn. Hmm, said the Tompton, what's this? And off he went to try it. The acorn was tasty, but it didn't fill him up, and he woke in the middle of the afternoon grumpy. The next time the Tompton arrived looking for an egg, he found a bright red strawberry. It looked bigger than the acorn, so he ran off to cook it. The strawberry was jammy and sweet, but it only filled up the Tompton a little more than the acorn had, and he woke up early. The sun had just come up when the Tompton was at the hen house again, his stomach roaring with hunger. Pushing Henny aside, he grabbed for an egg, only to find a delicious smelling mushroom. He raced off to cook it, and as scrumptious as it was, he woke up with his little tummy growling for more. cock a doodle The Tompton rushed in even before the rooster finished crowing. Henny, have you got something for my hollow, hollow tummy? This time he found a smooth round potato, even bigger than an egg. He cooked it quickly, swallowed it down, and went back to his hayloft. He woke up at sunset only half full. The Tompton had had enough. Henny, he shouted, tomorrow I want an egg for breakfast and nothing else. If you don't find one, I'll eat you up instead. Henny was scared. The Tompton had been tricked by an acorn, a strawberry, a mushroom, and a potato. How could they fool him again? Don't worry, Henny, Hedgie told her. Now it is time for my surprise. And he whispered in her ear. All night, Henny waited on her nest and Hedgie on his. As soon as it began to get light, Hedgie gently covered his nest with straw and got ready for the surprise. Henny and Hedgie could hear that Tompton's stomach rumbling like thunder a mile away. He burst into the hen house, pushed Henny aside, and grabbed. Ow, he howled. Ow, ow. Papa, papa, stick, stick. He had clutched Hedgie, all closed up in a tight round ball of needle-sharp 
prickles. Henny and Hedgy listened as the Tomton ran home yowling. Thank you, Hedgy, Henny said, looking at her dear friend. I'm sure that Tomton won't be back here again for breakfast, but what I can't figure out is, where have you hidden my eggs? Just then, Henny heard a little peep, then another, coming from Hedgy's nest. She looked over and saw the straw began to move. Five baby chicks peeped out of their shells and fluffed up their, their down. As Henny settled down with her babies nestled around her, the Tompton's mother was in the hayloft making breakfast for her hungry Tompton. Hedgy, 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 you are full of surprises, Henny cried as she led her baby chicks out into the sunshine. But the little Tompton didn't hear a word. He was sound asleep, his tummy full of tasty porridge. The end. <laughs>